Hello everyone, Adam here again from TCT Show 2021 and this time we're at the Photocentric booth talking about the new products that they're looking at. So stick around to find out more. My 2021 coverage of TCT 360 is sponsored by E3D. Their new Rapid Change Revo combines a toolless nozzle swap, all-in-one ceramic heater core and Revo Micro Cold End to give your printer a lighter, safer, quick-change hot-end system. Check the link in the description to find out more. So today we're talking to Josh from Photocentric. Josh, welcome to the show. Pleasure to meet you today, Adam. So, can you tell me a little bit about what you do personally at Photocentric and what Photocentric do kind of as a company in general? By all means. So Photocentric is a UK-based additive manufacturer, a manufacturer of both 3D printers and photopolymer resins. We're the inventors of LCD 3D printing, where we utilize the very first LCD screens to cure each layer for our method of additive manufacturing. We manufacture all of our photopolymer resins and our 3D printers out of the UK in our Peterborough facility. The printer solution we've got right here before us is the LC Opus. This is our desktop industrial grade solution designed to offer mass manufacturing on a desktop scale. This print solution operates on a 410 nanometer wavelength spectrum, so it's a UV LCD printer, giving you the potential for the mass production of clear, biocompatible and industrial grade parts. The design of the LC Opus is very sleek, very stylish. It's designed to offer you the ability for continuous mass manufacture. All the platforms are interchangeable. The vats can easily be replaced and put new vats in. So that way you've got the ability to have a consistent and steady throughput. We manufacture not just our own standard resins, but also functional resins in terms of our durable family and in terms of our own flexible range of resins. So in terms of that whole range of resins, you're obviously meeting a whole different range of demands from customers. What kind of industries are you kind of interacting with at the moment? So at the moment we interact with a selection of different industries. The main industries obviously in terms of dental, in terms of medical, aerospace, automotive, prototyping and functional end use parts. One of our main goals with our material range is to offer functional end use affordable materials for manufacturing purposes. And that's where with the build volume on the LC Opus, it opens up that potential. It gives you that ability to enable mass manufacturing and bring about a whole new range of additive manufacturing, additive manufactured produced parts. So in terms of a mass manufacturing kind of machine, obviously build volume can be important. Sometimes bigger is better, sometimes smaller is better. So obviously you want machines of different sizes. What kind of build volume and resolution are we looking at here? Of course, so with the LC Opus, although it is our desktop machine, it still offers a monstrous build volume. With the LC Opus, you've got a 310 by 174 by 220 build volume, giving you the ability to mass manufacture smaller components, either singularly or across the whole bed, or larger components in one go. The main benefits of technology, as I said, you've got the ability to interchange the platforms, but with LCD technology, you're not limited by the limitations of producing one part, then moving on to the next. You can produce one part, a whole better parts, or larger parts. It all produced at the same speed, the same efficiency. So that way you truly do enable mass manufacturing. With the platforms being interchangeable, you can load your print. Once it's finished, pull the platform off, pop that in your washer, your post-processing station, load the next platform in, top up the resin if needed, set the next print off. In terms of the accuracies, the LC Opus can go down to a Z height of 25 microns, and it's got an 80 micron XY pixel pitch. So it offers the detail and accuracy required for a variety of industries. So with a machine that's obviously highly capable, do you have a, a good range of like different materials and bases of which you can print with? So, as Photocentric is not just a manufacturer of the 3D printers, but also photopolymer resins, we've got the ability to design, develop and innovate our own range of photopolymer resins. Not simply for our own daylight printers, so the LC Magna operating on a 416 nanometer wavelength, but also the LC Opus operating on a 410 wavelength, UV DLP printers, whether it be Envision Tech, Asiga, B9, UV laser printers like the Formlab series printers. We're able to design and innovate a variety of materials that are suitable for not only our own, but for third party as well. They can be functional materials, they can be prototype materials, flexible materials, castable materials, offering the potential for rapid casting investment. There is a material for every application. That's good to hear. That is a huge variety of materials and cap capability as well. So can we take a bit of a closer look up at this build plate and the parts you've got built on here? This is a variety of different prototyping parts that are being produced in our UV hard black resin. This is a standard rigid polymer suitable for prototyping and certain functional parts. If you're looking for impact resistance, our durable UV80 offers a much better impact resistance, lending itself towards functional end use parts that can withstand that general wear and tear. These materials offer exceptional accuracy and detail because not only the resin formulation, but also the printer itself. 
They're able to apply themselves to a variety of applications with speed, efficiency and accuracy. So I've also heard about your collaborations with BSF recently. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? We entered into a uh, collaboration with BSF to develop functional end-use materials that are affordable for the market. We developed those materials for our LC Magna series printers and we're going through the development on those for our desktop series printers as well. What this will do is enable mass manufacturing on a scalable level with the right materials for the right application. Wonderful. I mean, it's really great to see that you're developing not just a printer and getting that out there, but also the kind of a much more fuller ecosystem of materials and printers that all work together. So that's really good. Thank you very much for talking to me today. It's been really nice to hear about what you've got going on. Thanks very much. Wish you all the best. Yeah, you too. Cheers. Cool. Can I do anything to <laughs>